आई एम प्रियंका उडगे वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन वालचंद इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर अँड आय एम हिअर टू डिलिव्हरिंग द लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक ट्रॅक वर्किंग अँड इट्स कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स ॲट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन स्टुडंट विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ ट्रॅक व्ही आय कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ट्रॅक ॲडवांटेजेस डिसॲडवांटेजेस and application of the track these are the contents track structure and symbol vi characteristics advantages disadvantages applications now just pause the video and recall the working of scr and its vi characteristics because we have a same characteristics of track in first quadrant like an scr in the scr we will get at different gate current a different waveform so same characteristics we will get in the track also track is a bidirectional three electrode ac switch that allows electrons to flow in either direction it is equivalent of two scrs connected in reverse parallel arrangement with gates connected to each other so as two scrs are connected in anti parallel so that we will get the vi characteristics in both quadrants in both directions in first and third so that's why track is called as a bidirectional this is the structure and symbol of track in the first diagram we can see the structure of track so during the four modes of operation different structures conduct like a p1 n1 p2 n2 structure p1 n1 p2 n3 structure p1 n1 p2 n4 structure in the second diagram we can see the track equivalent circuit in that two scrs are connected in anti parallel and its gate is connected together it has a two terminal mt1 and mt2 we can have the symbol of the track also here we can see the two scrs which are connected in anti parallel and the two terminals mt1 and mt2 the working of track it is possible to connect the various combination of negative and positive voltages to the track terminals because it is a bidirectional device so as we know that there are the two terminal so we can have the different polarities to this two terminal and have the four possible electrode potential combinations which make the track to operate four different operating quadrants or mode as given as there are the four modes of operation number 1 mode 1 here m2 is positive and the gate polarity is also positive with respect to mt1 mode 2 here mt2 is positive and the gate polarity will be negative with respect to the mt1 in the mode 3 mt1 will be positive and the gate polarity is positive with respect to mt1 and in the mode 4 mt1 is positive and gate polarity will be negative so track is working in this four modes of operation number 1 mode here mt2 is positive and positive gate current is there so we can see that mt2 is connected to positive terminal of the battery and here gate is the positive when the gate terminal is positive the current is flowing through p2 n2 junction and as mt2 is positive the current final current is flowing from mt2 to n2 so when gate terminal is positive with respect to mt1 the gate current flows through the p2 n2 junction when this gate current flows the p2 layer is flooded with the electrons and further these electrons are diffused at the edge of the junction j2 so these electrons are collected by the n1 layer it builds a space charge on the n1 layer means negative space charge so therefore more holes from the p1 region are diffused into the n region to neutralize the negative space charge 
so these holes arise at the junction j2 and produces the positive space charge in the p2 region so which cause the more electrons to inject into p2 from n2 so this results a positive regeneration and finally the main current flows through mt2 to mt1 as shown in the figure through the regions p1 n1 p2 n2 so this is the working of mode 1 now in the mode 2 here mt2 is positive and gate is the negative negative gate current is there so as this is the negative gate current so current is gate current is flowing from and p2 to n4 p2 to n4 junction and here the current is flowing from mt2 terminal to mt1 because we know that the current is always flowing from positive to negative terminal this is the working of track in the mode 2 when mt2 is positive the gate terminal is negative with respect to the mt1 so gate current flows through the p2 n4 junction so this gate current forward bypasses the p2 n4 junction for auxiliary p1 n1 p2 n4 structure so here for a temporarily the current conducts the structure that is p1 n1 p2 n4 less so this further rises the potential between the p2 n2 towards the potential of the mt2 terminal this cause the current to establish from left to right in the p2 layer which forward bypasses the junction p2 n2 and hence the main structure p1 n1 p2 n2 begins to conduct okay so previous structure was p1 n1 p2 n4 and after that the p1 n1 p2 n2 begins to conduct so initially conducted auxiliary structure p1 n1 p2 n4 is considered as a pilot scr and later conducted structure p1 n1 p2 n2 is considered as a main scr so we can say that here anode current of the pilot scr serve as a gate current to the main scr so the sensitivity sensitivity to gate current is less in this mode and hence more gate current is required to turn the track this is the mode 3 here mt1 is positive now uh, we have reversed the polarities and first we have to consider the gate is positive means positive gate current is there so as this terminal is positive the current is flowing from p2 n2 junction and as the mt1 is positive the final current is flowing from mt1 to mt2 terminal this is the working of track in the mode 3 so in this what uh, mt2 is made a negative with respect to mt1 and the device is turned on by applying a positive voltage between the gate and the mt1 terminal here gate is the positive so the turn on is initiated by the n2 which acts as a remote gate control and the structure leads to turn on the track is p2 n1 p1 n3 so here the p2 n1 p1 n3 structure is conducting so external gate current is there so because of that external gate current forward bypasses the junction p2 n2 so n2 layer injects the electron into the p2 layer which are then collected by the next junction that is a p2 n1 so this results to increase the current flow through the p2 n1 junction so this holes injected from the p2 diffuse through the n1 region so this builds a positive space charge in the p region because holes are there therefore more electrons from the n3 are diffused into p1 to neutralize the positive space charges which is created by the holes so here, here electrons arrive at the junction j2 and produces a negative space charge in the n1 region which results to inject more holes from the p2 into the region n1 so here 
This regenerative process continues till the structure P2, N1, P1, N3 turns on the triac and conducts the external circuit. As the triac is turned on by remote gate N2, the device is less sensitive to the positive gate current in this mode. This is the mode for MT1 is positive and negative gate current is there. Okay. So, here the current gate current is flowing through P2 N4 junction and the current is flowing through MT1 to MT2. So, in this mode N4 acts as a remote gate and injects the electrons into the P region and the external gate current forward biases the junction P2 N4. The electrons from the N4 region are collected by the P2 N1 junction increases the current across the P1 N1 junction. Hence, the structure P2 N1 P1 N3 turns on by the regenerative action. So, the triac is more sensitive in this mode compared with the positive gate current in the mode 3. So, in this way in different mode the different structures are conducting. So, from above discussion, from the above modes of operation, we can conclude that the mode 2 and 3 are less sensitive configuration which needs some more gate current to trigger the track. Whereas, more common triggering modes of the track are 1 and 4 which have the greater sensitivity. So, in practice, the more sensitive mode of the operation is selected such that the polarity of the gate is to match with the polarity of the terminal MT2. Now, VI characteristics of the triac. In the VI characteristics of triac, we get the similar characteristics in first and third quadrant. So, SCR both in a blocking and conduction state except for the fact that SCR conducts only in a forward direction whereas the triac conducts in the both direction because in SCR it conducts only in one direction. In first quadrant MT2 is positive and in the third quadrant MT2 is negative with respect to the MT1. Here the peak voltage applied in both direction must be less than the VBO to retain the control by the gate. The current of specified amplitude of either polarity will trigger the track into conduction in either quadrant. We can see the characteristics in that as the applied voltage forward voltage is less than the breakover voltage, the track will be in the non-conducting mode. As we increase this forward voltage beyond this breakover voltage, the track will be in the conduction state. So, with different gate terminal, we have uh, with a different gate current, we have a different waveform. The same characteristics we can get in the third quadrant, which is the replica of the first quadrant. So, here IBO is the breakover current when the track is in non-conducting mode. These are the advantages. It can be triggered by both positive and negative polarity voltage applied at the gate and it also operate as switch both half cycles of an AC waveform. It needs a single heat sink of slightly larger size. Hence, the, it saves both space and cost in the AC power application. It may work without a diode, a safe breakdown is possible in either direction. So, these are the advantages. Disadvantages, these are available in lower ratings as compared with the thyristor. A careful consideration is required while selecting a gate trigger circuit since a track can be triggered in a both forward and reverse bias condition as seen in the VI characteristics. It also have a low dV by dt rating as compared with the thyristors. These have very small switching frequencies and it is less uh, reliable than the thyristors. These are the applications. Due to its bidirectional control of AC, track can be used as a AC power controller, fan controllers, heater controllers, triggering devices for SCR, three position static switch light dimmers, track as a switch and phase control applications. So, these are the references. Thank you.